Hello, this is Don Hall. This is at Don Hall Works YouTube channel. And in this video that we're calling Slab Rollers 101, we're going to discuss how slab rollers work. We're going to look at a few different kinds of slab rollers, make a few slabs, and uh, see if we can learn a little bit. All right, this is the first slab roller we're going to talk about in this video. It's the largest. It will create the largest slab and it really works quite well. Or in this slab roller, you just turn this one crank, it raises it evenly on both sides. I like it set at about 3 eighths of an inch most of the time, but I do raise it up or lower it down depending on what I'm doing. All right, I have here 10 pounds of clay. I just throw it down to get it about the right shape I want it to run through the slab roller. That's probably good enough. All right. Ready to go. Now this is a, a canvas blanket. And it will leave a little bit of texture on the slab. All right, there's 10 pounds of, so once I roll it out, the first thing I do is I use a rib and scrape off that texture from the canvas and now it's ready to start working with. Before I show you a couple other mechanical kinds of slab rollers, I thought I would show you a very primitive method to do this project. This is the same 10 pounds of clay I just showed you a minute ago. I folded it up a couple of times. And I'm going to put it in between these sticks. The stick is about 3 quarters of an inch wide and it's about 3 eighths of an inch high. And for this I use just an old fashioned rolling pin. I got a heavy duty one here. And just roll it out. Right, I'm in Pam Ackles studio today and she's showing off the slab roller that she has which is very different than mine. It, uh, it's a tabletop model that doesn't come with legs and uh, there are several things that are different about this slab roller than the one you saw earlier. One is that there's two adjustments for uh, making the height of the slab thinner or thicker. And also, the roller goes in either direction. So you can slide something through and you can slide it back. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could if, if you needed to. Also, because these have different, you can make a slab that's thinner on one side and thicker on the other. Here's the gauge that tells you how thick it is. Your slab's going to be, it's set at 3 8 but then you subtract the size of the blanket, so it's probably down to about a quarter of an inch slab it'll make at this, sty at this stage. All right, we're going to talk about uh, mats now, slab mats. On my, uh, that we saw earlier, it was a uh, canvas mat, and it leaves a texture on. These mats that Pam's using uh, are different they they don't have a texture when the clay comes out so that it's, it's desirable. This kind is called a slab mat. It's hard like hard cardboard and it can uh, it works really well and but Pam also uses another kind that it's, it's actually made out of interfacing that she gets at the fabric store. It's kind of uh, material that's used for uh, interfacing inside of jackets, things like that. And the advantage to this is that you can get several of these. They're cheap. They're way less money than these are. And they also, because they come in a long roll, you can cut them off. And if you, like she does, she uses several different colors clay. She has an extra one of these for each clay that she uh, rolls through. So let's roll a, a slab through and see what it looks like. All right, 
we're going to do a trial one over here, see how it works. I have the interfacing material, and when you push it in on this lap, you need to push a little bit underneath so the clay is nice and snug here, and then simply roll it through. Okay. All right, it came through. And the nice thing about this interfacing is it does leave a kind of a texture on it. All right, you can see now that it has a slight texture on it, a little bit of a pebble texture. If you want, you can smooth it out at this stage or leave it the way it is. All right, so this is the North Star tabletop slab roller. And thanks, Pam, for... This is a different kind of slab roller. It's a tabletop uh, one. It has a really tiny little uh, roller. And it has the way you make it the slab thinner or thicker is you add or subtract these uh, boards here. I'm going to do one where I'm going to go it through, make it go through with one, then we'll try it with two and make it even thinner. All right, I have a piece of clay here that I thinned out on one edge because it's very sensitive to get it to roll through since the rollers are so small. But basically it's the same thing. You push it, you line it up with the edge of the board like so. Push that through and then give it a push while you crank it through and There you go, you, you have a, a slightly flattened piece. All right, so I added another board uh, in here and I'm gonna roll it through again. And it works better, I think, if you give it a little pull from this end while you're rolling. There you go. And uh, so basically there's our nice flat finished slab that we'll use to uh, cut up and make into other things. Here's another variety that uh, low-tech and made out of some PVC pipes. It works really well, actually. There we go. Nice, smooth, flat piece of clay it runs on these wires you turn it and they both move simultaneously can't get any simpler than that well there's a little bit about slab rollers hope you enjoyed this video love to uh, hear anything about comments on it or uh, something that you made on your slab roller uh, Please subscribe to my channel at Don Hall works